Maybe if we, if we zoom out just for a second, I mean, EVs, you know, I think are an energy security product because of the diverse energy use that they can provide. They're only as secure as our ability to make them. <laughs> and now we're, we're sort of in the next phase of this problem, which is we don't have a secured supply chain to be able to make electric vehicles or grid energy storage for that matter. Really interesting difference though about batteries and, and the ones in EVs or on the grid is that the components are reusable. Very different than, than the sort of uh, the hydrocarbon type of energy ecosystem and, and the, the materials involved. It's, it's, very, it, it's obvious when you think about it, but the ramifications are totally different. The U.S. is, I think, the biggest single national consumer of all these critical elements, nickel, cobalt, and maybe lithium as well. But we're not consuming them. We're, we're basically building a strategic stockpile of them because every bit of nickel that we buy in and import into the country, it doesn't go away. It's still sitting in a battery, in a car, somewhere. So we need the technology and we need the, the industrial base to refine those things, but we're already in the process of uh, basically consuming them, bringing them in, building a strategic stockpile. We, we need to figure out how we access it and how we build those, the proper facilities to, to utilize it.